Hey all, it's Amy Crowsong again. Uh, because this is the third video of the day, you do not get to see my face this time. Sorry, the max limit is two apparently for Thanksgiving anyway. I don't know if that's a special holiday rule or not. Uh, leaving that joke behind, we have some very, very old drawings of Shadowstalker that I used to hang up on my wall. They were kind of like a shrine. A little scary. Uh, this, oh gosh, these are back from, I want to say 2007 to 2008 era when I was in middle school. Or not 2006 to 2008 era when I was in middle school. Shadow Soccer. The earliest I remember of him is 2005 when I was in fifth grade. It's possible he came in before that and I just don't really remember. Um, but anyway, middle school I drew him a lot. And um, I still like to draw him. Anyway, so here we have Shadow Soccer. You see his ear is like always uh, in, in, down, over. And then a little nick over here. And he always has this scar over his left eye, which is to our right. Um, I shaded him in a little bit on this one. I actually kind of have a cute little style going on. <laughs> I gotta say, I kind of wish I had that still. It's not the best, but it's, it's kind of cute, I think. Huh. Um, here's the, this was supposed to be a younger version of him, but he still has a scar, it looks like. Like I said, as you can see, all of these are consistent with the ear, uh, the other ear, and the scar. And you see, even on the shaded ones, his paws are still white, because he has four white paws. He has always been dark gray, white paws, golden or amber eyes. This one's a little meaner of him, I guess. This one, he's got a butterfly on his nose. That's adorable, actually. He's very kind of... He looks frail in these, like kind of thin and like small in um, some of these. But I think that's just how I drew him. It's not that I have like a particular... I wasn't good at drawing. I was never good at drawing. Uh, so that's just how I drew cats, okay? It was... It, while, it varied wildly. <laughs> now, let's pull this up. And right here, we have two older, but not quite as old. These were made, I think, earlier this year? Yeah. Um, this is an Autodesk sketchbook, which I highly recommend. I love it. This is Esther, the new version of Esther, and the new version of Wildflower. These are both old OCs I have. Both were related to Warrior Cats RPs, or role plays. Um, Esther is a ragdoll mix. Well, clearly. She's also technically part Siberian, since she comes down from the line. This is spoilers, by the way, for fa Family and Future. Esther comes down from uh, Shadowstalker and Cookie's line, which is through Conifer, or Connie, as she's known more. Um, Wildflower, meanwhile, comes down from Silver Bells. So uh, she's she's related to Shadowstalker and his mate Sunset Waves. And if you're wondering, Shadowstalker, Sunset Waves, and Cookie, her full name's technically Cookie Shark, or Cookie Cutter Shark, they're, uh, they're my OT3. Yes, I, I, he has to have them both, and they both love him. They love each other. They're girlfriends. They're, they're his boy. They're his girlfriends. They're each other's girlfriends. They're just all in love. They, they're, it's great. It's wonderful. Him and his show cat girlfriends or wives. Maybe they're wives, actually, because he does. They do have their children. His children. Huh. Anyway, uh, so this is new Esther. She is a chocolate tabby bicolor. She's actually supposed to be a, um, oh, what's it called? Classic tabby, but I didn't really reference tabby stripes, so this is what you get. Wildflower is a fawn, uh, a fawn calico, and you see Esther has green eyes, um, Wildflower has golden eyes. Her original name was Regina Wildflower, uh, cause she was a kitty pet originally who could not breed, she was spayed. Uh, this is not the case anymore. She is now, um, a stray or feral, um, yeah, she's certainly feral, not stray, sorry. And, um... She's really pretty. I really like her design a lot, actually. So zooming out a little bit, and if we come down here, we see the newer, most recent, one of the more recent uh, drawings I did. This is all of our main, well, not all, but this is four of our big characters and family and future. We have right here, Miss Esther, and she's not as round in this one. I kind of wish I made her more round. I like, I want her to be round. On the other hand, ooh, I feel like I did them opposite, because Wildflower should not be this round. This should, hmm. but Esther's definitely bigger than Wildflower, I think, but, um, hmm, definitely did, there's, did a little wrong here. This is Amber, by the way. Her original name as a warrior cat OC, original character, was Amber Shade. I don't know why, I just, I couldn't figure out what to name her, because she's named for her tail, because it's Amber. She also does have golden eyes, or kind of amberish eyes, um, but, I don't know. Um, I just, I just shade for like the shady color of her ears and top of her head. I don't know. And this is a little Viper. Viper, um, I haven't really talked about, I don't think too much. A little bit though. Uh, Viper is a born violet. 
uh, but quickly realizes he is Viper from a young age. Um, much to his mother Belladonna's dismay and his litter mate's dismay also. Uh, he grows into Viper Scratch. There is a reason for that. If you read Family and Future, you will find out why. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. It is connected to a cat in Shadow and Ash. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Pretty neat, right? Right? Reincarnation. Cool. Oh, I guess that kind of gave it away. <laughs> Yeah, and he has this unique little thing on his face, which I really love that that ties into the cat he's reincarnated from. Uh, should I just say it? I mean, it's pretty obvious, I feel like, at this point, but maybe I just know my characters too well. Anyway, um, so I, I can't remember where I was going. Oh, I know where I was going. <laughs> so Viper's mother, Belladonna, has five kittens. Viper is just one of them. He is the only solid black, well, not solid, but mostly black one. The others have more white than they do other colors, which is either black or or black tabby. Um, he's also the only one with this color eyes. The rest have green or hazel. He only has, he has yellow eyes. And um, so he's really special. He was always special. When he was Violet, originally he was like his mother's firstborn. And Violet uh, would go by Vi instead of Violet because it seemed more villainous because she was always supposed to be a villain. I thought he'd be like this mass murderer or something in Family and Future. He turned out not to be. So uh, kudos to him. <laughs> and it's just, yeah, it's just really cool. I love this character. I love what happens. I really love Family and Future, actually, in, as a whole. It's one of my favorite of the series. Now, if we come up here, we are going now to Shell and Thorn. Um, let me adjust this a little bit. Oops, hold on. It's not how I wanted to adjust. Oops. Well, we'll get to that one. <laughs> so, Shell and Thorn, these are the two main characters, not counting Lars, their human uh, brother. This is Tuffy or Thorn Tuft over here. This is Shell Petal or Shelly over here. Now, um, this, these are their canonical designs, um, but the cats who they're based off of and represent them don't quite look like this, although uh, Tuffy's looks a lot more like him than than Shelly's does. Shelly's is a Dilute Calico tabby. Uh, from She's passed away now. I got her as a, my cat in 2002 or three. I want to say three maybe or two. I don't remember which. Um, so yeah. And uh, Tuffy's, um, the cat, we still have him. He is now 14, I think. He came into our household about 2007, I think. So yeah. Or maybe he's only 13. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not doing math right now. Don't ask me to do that. This is just random background. This is also older. This is more, um, this one's older than these two, actually. Um, I made this back when I was writing, I think, Shell and Thorn, or right after I published it or something. And, um, and then this one came, I, it had, this one had to have come before I got too far into Shell and Thorn, because, I don't know if you can read this, these are Tad and Penny. And Tad and Penny are actually also Shadowstalker descendants. Um, and uh, they, go <laughs> their full names are Tadpole and Penelope. They are littermates. They are sisters. Uh, and they are the, like, den mothers of this group of cats that you meet in Shell and Thorn. Um, and they call themselves Mother Penny. And, ha, I'm going to laugh at this one because it's a Warrior Cats animation, early animations, animators, reference Mama Tad. I had to. I'm sorry, Mama Tad. I just, I just had to. Like, it was, it was right there. I, I could not. I just, I just couldn't not do it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Mama Tad, Mother Penny, Tadpole, and Penelope. Um, let's see. Those are also, like I said, those are from back when I was really early on drafting she Shell and Thorn. This is before they were even in it. Uh, they came in a little bit after that. Down here is definitely older than even those. Uh, this is a line list, as you can see, of Shadowstalker, Thunder Growl, and Fur. This time he Thunder Growl would have been just Thunder. He looks wonky to me. Like, his head is just kind of weird. And then Fur doesn't really have a head going on too much, or like his face. Maybe it's the brown part of the face. The, the, um, the color point part. I don't know. It looks funny to me. And then F Thunder looks funny to me. Shadow Saga looks okay. Is this Scar there? <gasps> I forgot to put a Scar in. I didn't even do his shredded ears. What is this? He had both of those in his Nick Deer, too. By the time his, his sons were this old, before his sons were even born, like, he had those scars. So, I don't know what I was doing here. Might try something like this again. Uh, I kind of want to do it with she-cats, though. Like, who could we do? Maybe Silver Bells, Conifer, and... I don't know. I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> now, if we come right here, 
if you watched my newer video on YouTube, you will have seen this as the, uh, uh, well, I'm just blanking right now on the actual term, as the picture for the video, uh, the, the, the icon thingy. Um, I'm not going to come up with a word. Let's just move on. This is Tooth. Tooth, uh, I drew this like literally a day or two ago. Um, Tooth is uh, uh, the first daughter of Tiny Fang. She is not Tiger Purse daughter, I will say that. If you've been watching my videos, you should have an idea of what's going on and know that I've been working on Tiny Fang's backstory, which includes Tooth. Uh, I actually really love Tooth, despite that she should not have happened, and um, despite what happens to her. Uh, I wish she could have grown up and, and spoiler alert, <laughs> I guess, but you really should know already if you've been paying attention. Uh, so, Tooth. And she's named that because she has this tooth that sticks out. Uh, she has a cleft lip, and uh, she can't pronounce things normally. So she, she calls herself Tooth, which I think would have been adorable if she had gotten to a leading lady. And she's like, I'm Tooth, and then whatever her last part of her name would have been. <laughs> or if I made her into, like, a warrior cat's roleplay character, she's like, I'm Tooth Star. <laughs> uh, and then she also has some other issues with... Uh, Speaking, like, um, one little detail I want to really hit on, not hit on, but I want to include for sure, is, uh, she cannot say the M sound correctly, mm. Instead, she does, like, an M in, which is mm. So, her, instead of mama, it's menomena, or grandma, gremina. Mm -hmm. Um, name is very hard to say in that manner. Uh, namina. <laughs> I've been saying this stuff all day. If you, like I said earlier, uh, I put out a video in which I tr read a little bit with tooth in it, and just, just, pronouncing her words. It's just such a joy. No, I'm kidding. It's really not, but I like I like the detail that she cannot speak properly because her tooth hangs out. Um, she's a sweet little girl. And then I, over here, this is the last thing for this set of images. We have, oh my gosh, look at these. So right here in um, on the uh, notebook paper, which was a school notebook. Great. <laughs> I was always doodling in my notebooks. I was one of those kids. Um, when it wasn't Neil Pets, it was cats. Um, this is a very old shadow stalker image. Like this is from hmm, the 2007 to 2000, no, 2006 to 2008 era. My 6th grade to 8th grade years, or I guess maybe 2009, because that's when I got out of 8th grade. 8th uh, grade really began in 2008. But anyway, uh, Shadowstalker, I, the earliest I remember him is 2005, when I was in 5th grade. However, he could have come a little bit before that, in like 2003 to 2004. Um, I'm not sure, I just, my memory just doesn't, he's been a part of my life so long, I cannot pin the exact year down. Uh, best I can do is say 2005. Um, and then... So shortly after I did this, I went on, I uploaded it to MS Paint, and I made this. I used to play in MS Paint for hours at a time, and I would do digital drawings like this. Um, I did get kind of good at them at one point, but I haven't done them in so long. I feel like that ability is just kind of lost. I, mean, I might try again at some point. I don't know, but I prefer digitally drawing now. So these are both from, well, this one might have been from 2009, I think. Um, I'm not sure, because I think I didn't get into digital to like, high school. So this one might have been more 2009. And then, we have this one from literally the other day. This is Shadowstalker, uh, the, 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 the new version. <laughs> as you can see, he's not as, like, dark grayish. He's still technically dark blue. Um, that's his technical color, so maybe he would look more like this color. Um, uh, but I just wanted to make him look maybe more realistic. I tried shading and highlighting. Like, look at this lighting going on. He's supposed to be, like, right under a lamp or something, a street lamp or something. So I wasn't sure how to shade that, but I tried my best. I think I'm getting better. I usually don't shade or highlight, um, because I'm just bad at it. And as you can see, I did miss some points. Like, right here's a little darker, right here's a little darker. Um, but yeah, this is our top Tom, Shadowstalker himself. And so this is from 2020. Um, so that's at least like 11 years from this one, even more than that from this one. You can see I've definitely improved, um, I would say. So anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's what we've got for here. Now let's go over to Microsoft Paint because why the heck not? Look at this. It is a Shadowstalker. Super, super old Shadowstalker. Um, and if you notice here, 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 I can't remember if we already did this one. Here, here, here. Oh, wait, I think we did already do this one, actually. I was going to comment how 
his uh his ears and scar are always the same but i think i really think i did already look at this one i'm sorry guys let's go somewhere else look at this it's called an animatic thing i don't animate though really it's just going to be pictures to these words so this one is for um I need a hero. I don't remember the actual name. I just know it's from Shrek. Well, it's not from Shrek, but it's in Shrek 2. Um, the, the end song, I think. Or the climax. And, um, so what we've got going on here is blah, 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 blah. Title card. Blah, 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 blah. And we have certain scenes. Certain scenes. Certain scenes. More blah, blah, blah. And I'm, I'm hopefully eventually going to draw these. Here's another one for Bad Guy by Billie Eilish. This is for, um, Feather Mask. And, um... So yeah. Oh, this other one is, I didn't say. This one is for, uh, oh, this is the same one I'm on. Oops, my bad. Hero is for Shadowstalker and Owl, who becomes Alfrost. Um, but yeah, yeah. So that's what we've got going on. And um, let's come back here, take a big look at everything again. Yay. Oh, this right here, by the way, is my signature A crow song. Isn't that beautiful? I really like the A, though, because it kind of reminds me of a star. I love it. All right, well, I'm going to call it here. So, um, I will talk at y'all later. Bye-bye.